Hey guys, we're here at iFusion with Katie, Sarah, and Laura to talk a little bit and to find out what these girls want in a first date. All right, girls, I guess my first question is just, how do you want to be approached for a date? Well, it kind of depends on the setting. Yeah. I guess if you're in a bar, mm -hmm. then you know, you're know you more laid back and more relaxed. Right. And so it wouldn't be as creepy if the guy just came up to you and like made a joke or something like that. Yeah, I, I would like that, I think. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I would like to be like approached like in person when it's text over the okay. phone. I just don't take it as seriously. So if someone's gonna approach me by person, um, I'm just gonna take it a lot more seriously and be way more interested in it. Yeah. So what if this guy is a friend? You know, you already know him. You've seen him around campus, or he is in your group of friends. Does that kind of change the mood? Does that change things? Yeah. I would say so. Just because like you're more comfortable with them already, right. and like you don't have to worry about that awkward you know, introduction or anything like that. It, you know, it's more smooth in that I feel, sense. I feel like you can Definitely. be a little more flirty too. Like yeah. He's your friend too, because you already know who he is and what he's about. So, mm -hmm. Definitely. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what if this friend asks you out or this random guy in the street asks you out and you don't want to go out with him? Is that, is that awkward? <laughs> you know, like, what, what, do you, what do you say? Do you say, do you just say no or? That's like I actually come up with excuses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure, yeah because like, I don't know. I like to keep it nice. I don't want to have like a bad relation right. with someone. Mm -hmm. So I'll have an exam that week, or I usually like, pull the boyfriend card. <laughs> okay. I always say like I have a boyfriend, right. or like sorry, I gotta go really quickly. I'm busy right now. Mm -hmm. So, but if it is a friend, or he's in your group of guy friends, yeah. how how do you respond to something like that? Oh, God. If he's my friend. <laughs> I mean, if worst, can, you know, if worst comes to worst, I would say something like, hey, you know, I really respect you, I really like our relationship and what we have, but I may not be as into it as you are. Yeah. You know, something like that, just mm -hmm. to kind of like let it down low. Because, you know, I would want to be friends mm -hmm. with that person because he is my friend in the first place, yeah, you know, so yeah. it would be kind of like tricky to, you don't want to be mean or let him down hard, right. you know. And then um, if you make up an excuse, do you think that he should take that as I don't want to... I don't want to go out with you, or what do you think? I mean, I kind of hope that he got the head. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know, so like, there isn't any more awkwardness. Right. Um, but like, if he doesn't get the head, like what Sarah said, like, yeah. just kind of go over it, like, go over with him, like, look, this is yeah. going to happen. So. Be more mm -hmm. blunt afterwards. Be more <laughs> <definitely>. Yeah. <laughs> right. Put it right out there. So if you agree to go on a date with a guy, where do you want to go? And then also, I guess probably the first thing is, do you want to be picked up by this guy? Are you going to give him your address? Or is that creepy? Um, I would probably just, you know, want to meet him there for, like for the first date, okay. especially like, well, if you don't know him, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't want him to know where I live at first because, you know, I wouldn't know much about him and stuff. He could turn out to be really creepy. Yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, well, now you know where I live. Great. No. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Great. I would probably, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I would probably just be like, hey, you know, I'm going to this house party or to the bar or whatever with my friends, like, want to meet me there? And then, you know, you would kind of, like, prepare yourself to get into that situation. Yeah, you know so I mean? maybe just shooting a text like, hey, my girlfriends and I yeah. are going to Dublin um, mm -hmm. if you and your guy friends want to come. Or maybe yeah. not even saying that, yeah. maybe just yeah. kind just of saying, I'm going here and if he wants to show up and make an appearance, then mm -hmm. that's great if not, then... Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and then definitely for like a stranger, yeah. like I would want to kind of be like in a group setting okay. first before one on one, mm -hmm. um, just to even see if like I'm even interested in going on yeah. a one on one date with them. Right. And then right. if it's kind of a friend, I, I would let them come to my house. I'm already familiar with yeah. them. Yeah, if I'm friends with them, I'm no. comfortable with them knowing where definitely. I live. So what if you don't have mutual friends? I feel like that's kind of yeah. when it gets a little that's tricky. Easy. That's tough. Um, I would say a group setting. Then, if you don't have yeah. mutual friends, you kind of can like bring him mm -hmm. in and like see how mm -hmm. your friends are getting right. the vibe for him. Right. Because your friends can tell better than you can, I think. Exactly. So, so you, from you like the bar yeah. idea. You like saying, "Hey, I meet me cool. here," or yeah. "I'm doing this." You know, meet meet me there. I'm going with friends to kind of make yeah. it seem mm -hmm. like it's, exactly. It's more casual. It's a group mm -hmm. setting to kind of get to know the person before it's that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you if you meet like the first time you meet him and it's like mm -hmm. you do hit it off right, right. away. And you would, you know, want to get to know him just yeah. on a one-on-one -on -one setting. I would probably go for like a, a day, okay. date sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like I'm running your noodles just to get a quick snack. Like, you know, want to get a bite with me yeah. or something. Just, you know, it's very, very casual and it's during the day, so you don't have any like promises of like where the night will go. Which can yeah, be awkward, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely, something like that. So on a first date, so the noodles thing is good. Where, yeah. where else would you want to go on a first date if a guy was kind of just asking you out for the first time? 
I say maybe like a Max Norma. <gasps> so yeah, yeah. Kind of like casual. Somewhere like, a little more chill. Yeah. yeah. Or a movie. Just yeah. Really kind of laid back. Kind of just eases like your like relationship yeah. into that way. You don't have to make that much conversation yeah. the first time when you're still getting to know that. That's, that's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you you agree with the movie? Because sometimes the movie can be a little weird. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Because you don't know each yeah. other, and then it's like, oh, we're just sitting in silence. You know? And then you like laugh at the awkward yeah. part, yeah. and you don't know if you have the same humor, and you're like, great. Well, I look weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if you, for me, like, if I would really want to get to know him, I would probably do, like, dinner and a movie. If I, you know what I mean? So you would at least get to know. Yeah. And then a little quiet time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. And, or even, yeah. like, more casual, like, just, like, go grab ice cream or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, like, movie, yeah. yeah so right. you can still talk, but it's not as big a commitment as a dinner. Right. So. so, on a first date, what body language do you think is important to give off to a guy if you're interested? And then to say on the other side of things, if you're not interested, how do you act in both of those situations? Um, well, I know I always laugh and giggle. <laughs> I mean, if I'm into the guy and stuff, um, I'm gonna show that I'm you know, interested in, I mean, you know, I listen to what he says and stuff, but if he makes a joke and I can tell he's trying, but I'm still like into him, you know, I'll laugh and kind of be flirty in that sense. Okay. Um, and then what about touching? Touching? Is it like a touch of the arm? Is that yeah. something that you guys feel is important? I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on your yeah, like touching, like your like personality. Where, exactly. And like where yeah. are you sitting down? Are you standing? Like you I know? wouldn't reach across the table like oh, <laughs> yeah. like, 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 like this, like you know, is... talking like casually and something just goes like oh yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I'm more prone to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm like very right. comfortable and having fun with them. So the touching, do you think that is like a step? A little bit of a step, like, yeah. Okay, I into you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little, little step. Because if I wasn't into him, I wouldn't be doing that and you know trying to let no, him know. Exactly. I'd be kind of like, I don't know, more kind of like reserved, reserved, yeah, reserved. yeah. yeah. For, sure. for sure. And then, what do you expect back from the guy if um, he's into you? You know, what do you? What kind of signs do you want to see from him? I think smiles. Yeah. Right. I'm always like smiling and laughing, and I'm not that big on touching. If he's like touching me on the first date a yeah. ton, yeah, so like, like, different. Yeah, like okay. I feel like I can touch the arm, but if he kind of touches too much, it's a little weird. So. Okay. So the handhold, that's not a first date. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wouldn't say so. No. Okay. Um, so you kind of think even if you are into him, it'd just be kind of like that's a little clingy, clingy, and like that's something that I would do if I'm. D dating, okay. like actually dating, like mm -hmm. an intimate relationship, not just okay. like a casual date. Yeah, I think that's that's you know? good information to know, just because. Yeah. You know how often you know someone puts your arm or you right. know the arm around yeah. the shoulder, or other stuff like that. Yeah, that could be cute. You know, if you're with a lot of people and he does do that, like as a joke or something. Mm -hmm. That can, yeah. be, that can be kind of cute, you know. In a group setting. In a group setting, Out yeah. at the bar, just, but in a casual setting. Right, right. Like, yeah, casual, then like really yeah. like subtle touching, kind of like almost like mm -hmm. it's like only between okay. you and you're kind of like a seeker and no one else yeah. knows. Right. Like, yeah. Oh, he's acknowledging me, like, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, touching, kissing, that kind of leads us into the kissing on the yeah. first date. <laughs> what do you think about kissing on the first date? Do you think that that's something that is okay? Do you think you need to have a little bit of a background with the person? It, yeah. I think if I'm going to kiss someone on the first date, I mean, it could happen, but it's going to be at the very end. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously, when you're out to dinner, it wouldn't make out in like a booth with Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but like maybe on the way home, um, you know, when he drops you off, mm -hmm. just like a nice little goodbye kiss, not like mm -hmm. all in my face, all over yeah. it all. But yeah. Cause it's nice little sweet. Exactly. You know, because the kiss like really does kiss, like. Or, well, well, depending on she kids can be like get kind of awkward. Yeah, you, like, don't know what he's gonna go for. Yeah, <laughs> 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 over the hug and then kiss. Oh, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sneak it in. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, go for it or don't go for it. If you mm. do, you think that the girl should go for the kiss on the first date, or no. do you think the guy? So you think the guy should? Definitely. Yeah, and you don't think that's too intrusive. Um. Well, kind of like okay, what's that movie? Is it Hitch or it's Hitch, like the yeah. Ten? Right. Like, yeah. 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 That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> It's like yeah. you can like see if she's into it or not. Yeah, because yeah. I don't want so. him just like come at me if I right. don't want it. But if I want it, then I'll go in. I'll come halfway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten. You can always do ten. Ten percent. Okay, he'll go ninety. We'll yeah. just go a little bit. Cheat show if you want. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Turn, turn yeah. my head. Yeah. yeah. A little yeah. dish. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's happened before. Like, oh, right. he's gone for it, and I'm just like, oh um. And I went for the hug, and that's just right. But yeah, we yeah. Don't at have the end of the date, what do you guys think about going home with a guy on a first date? Never, no, never. Because no. mm -mm. mm -mm. you're going on a date with him for a reason, mm -hmm. okay? You know, and like, 
if you know your intentions with the guy are always kind of you, you know you want to like want to respect him and stuff and so like you're not gonna get that respect if like you just go home with him like you know and that makes you look bad too you know what I mean mm -hmm. I don't know I just I wouldn't if it's like someone I'm going on a date with it's someone I want to invest my time with and it's not someone I'm just gonna want to I don't know just do that. I, yeah. don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. like it just okay. wouldn't feel right. right. I wouldn't yeah. be comfortable mm -hmm. enough, especially after one day. I wouldn't know someone well enough. So, right. Yeah. So from personal experience, can <laughs> you guys each kind of say your best date or your best first date? <clears throat> um, just to give guys a little idea of uh, what to do. And Well, let's see. Um, I was in Chicago, actually. I think my best date, I'm not saying, oh, take the girl to Chicago. <laughs> no, take her on Drive four hours. No. But I was already in there, and like, no intentions of you know, going on a date with him at all. Mm -hmm. But um, he asked me out to lunch, okay. and I was leaving that night. And um, you know, we just hung out all day. Like, we walked around everywhere. It was in the summer, so it was really nice. Right. We went to the beach. We went like to the dock and just sat there and talked and it was great and um, you know went out to lunch went through the zoo which was you know it was different yeah. you know you don't usually hear about that stuff anymore mm -hmm. um, but just actually like talking to the person and yeah. like really getting to know him and it's not you're not sitting in one place kind of like walking around and stuff just made me feel more comfortable and we were able to joke and like. I don't know, it kept it kept the day going and kept the date going, which I really, really like. Yeah. So. And so you're kind of saying establishing <clears throat> that friendship early on yeah. is really important. Yeah. Definitely. I yeah, I think so for sure. Okay. You just you have that, you know, that trust that you need in a relationship if you have a friendship first, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely. definitely. Does anybody else have a good first date <laughs> yeah. or maybe a bad first date? Sorry, I don't know. Did someone do something wrong? Yeah. And I had a good one. Um, okay. He, well, first we went to ice cream, we did like that mm -hmm. thing, but what he did afterwards, which was fun, um, one of his friends, um, this was in college, and one of his friends was a lacrosse coach for one of the local high schools, and he actually brought me to one of the games, um, so it was a really casual setting, um, there's like something in front of us to kind of watch for like, during those like first awkward like moments. So sporting events. Are yeah, good. sporting events, it was a lot of fun, yeah, sure. um, we got to talk a lot, and just really got to know each other, it was fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought maybe like a day event. Like okay. when we went down to um, Plymouth area and we got to like sit down and just like talk by the fountain to each other and then right. like went to like casual lunch and it was just very like relaxed mm -hmm. and comfortable with okay. each other. So yeah, yeah, I'm definitely getting the vibe that the friendship <laughs> and the casual talking and getting to know each other is kind of the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The best, best date, though. the best way to go. Has has anyone had a bad date that they oh, wanted God. to share? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't so much like bad, but it was you know, when you go out to like a nice dinner on your first day, uh -huh. you kind of almost feel like there's like more pressure to like, right. I, I don't know, it's just it's like almost like a professional setting. It's kind of weird, but yeah, um, he like wouldn't make eye contact with me and it was like really <laughs> awkward. It was yes. like, yeah, so he kept like, you know, it was like a sushi place and he kept like watching the people like roll the rolls. Mm -hmm. I don't know, so I felt really like uninteresting. <laughs> Yeah, so you so, felt like focus. you weren't important yeah. enough. You were important to ask out, but then when you yeah. got there, it was kind of like, okay. Like, you yeah. like, didn't know what to do after that, so. Yeah, yeah. I had to stay with, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarah, any um, bad dates? Well, I had a date where uh, this guy, he asked me to do a movie, which okay. was nice, you know? And, um, you know, I show up at his apartment before, you know, we left, mm -hmm. and he wanted to pregame before the movie. <laughs> he wanted to drink before the movie, okay. which was weird. So, um... <laughs> I didn't really know what to do, so I just kind of went along with it. Cause what do you like? I didn't really know him, and uh, he had a sober monitor drive us. To the <laughs> so that kind of um, blew any chance. Yeah. So that ruined it. That was the end of the yeah, date. Yeah, I would suggest a not not uh, pregame before a date. That's just not, not yeah. the right signal to make. <laughs> exactly. So drinking Weird. before a first date yeah. is probably yeah. not the best idea, like, especially for a movie. Yeah, it's the wrong impression. Where you don't even, yeah, where you don't even talk to begin with, really, in the movie. So what do you? I don't really. It was, it was very weird. Cool. Very weird. <laughs> you know, thank you girls so much for yeah. taking your time and sharing all of yeah. these crazy stories. <laughs> Being a guy isn't easy, and we're here to help. <laughs>